Hi guys, it's Tuesday and I have another Hip Kit Club share. This is from July and I know I'm a little late to the game, a little late to the party, but better late than never, right? <laughs> it's been, um, like I said, it's been a busy, busy life and I wanted to share this with you. So I haven't had much time, I haven't had any time to scrapbook. Um, actually and today was one of the first days that we had a babysitter for the grandbaby and Alan Bab said sweetheart do something artistic do something fun so what more fun could I have than scrapbooking <laughs> like that other than being like on a tropical island right now with um, like a little fruity cocktail and my husband I can't imagine doing anything more fun so um, let's start out with the papers because I like to start out with those and this is the Dear Lizzie here and now collection this one is called Splendid and I would have to agree that is gorgeous love 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 pink and white and soft yellows and so this is a very much my style and I purposely did not buy the paper collection or any of the ephemera actually I just waited to get it in the hip kit club and that's one of the things I like about being in that club is they kind of get they kind of give you what's the most on trend and um, they didn't fail me with it when it came to some of these new releases so this is the b-side and it's kind of funky that's kind of a weird it's not exactly it's not exactly even, so it's a little wonky, it's a little off-center, but it's different, and I like the colors, but this side, oh, I love, love that side. So then, this one is fun. This is by Pink Paisley and many more, and so I think this is a birthday celebration type of um, collection, if I recall. So here are some dipped strawberries on a light blue background with some little blue dots so that's fun and cute and then we have this soft this would be great with the baby this is a soft pink with a little white scallop print on it so more pink it's a little different pink than this one you can see this one is just a little more fleshy than that this is also Here and Now by Dear Lizzie, and it is called Heat Wave. Just a bunch of fun, I guess I'm holding it upside down, a bunch of fun sunglasses that are super cute, and my daughter actually wears a pair like this all the time, true. And then the back side is a super bright yellow with a white polka dot. That is almost like a neon yellow. I like this side though. This one's cute. So this is also Dear Lizzie here and now, and this one is called Charming, and I would agree. Love the iconic Dear Lizzie blue, but has all the little floral motifs that are pink and a soft orange color. And then this is a nice neutral background with some wonky squares and outlines of those squares. And that is like a very dark navy blue probably looks black on camera super cute oh this one is sweet this is Amy Tangerine picnic in the park and it is called dainty dots and it is oh just the cutest this reminds me of when I was little and in, in the 70s where you would have all these little tiny prints on your dresses that is so sweet I love that and then the back is just an orange dotted scallop. So that is sweet and like that that one is lively and fun, vibrant. This one is sweet. I love this one. This is by Jim Hadfield Hey Hello collection. Giant motifs of flowers that can be fussy cut. Or you could even use this as a background if you were that bold, but I don't know. I'm <laughs> I really like fussy cutting, so I like the little butterflies in there too. 
And then the back is just colorful diagonal stripes. But I love, I love this item. This one is pink paisley and many more. And it has a bunch of the fun, it looks like paper lanterns. And they're just kind of layered and spotted all over each other. And they have some, like a deeper magenta color that kind of makes it pop. This deeper teal and deeper magenta gives it that vibrant touch. So I like that. And then the B side is just this gradient. Well, it's not even a gradient. It's just a color wash of teal. And um, like I call this a cornflower blue and then just a soft wash of light blue. This is also Dear Lizzie here and now and it is called Summer Vibes. Look at how fun that is. Just super colorful. And then the back is different. It's a, I don't know that I like the back. <laughs> it's a bunch of tree leaves with these birds tucked in. So I'm not sure that I would use this side, but I do like this side. So I'll probably go with that. This is also Dear Lizzie here and now collection and it is called Sun and Fun. It is the cut aparts. Uh, hang on to that feeling. Very 70s. Mentally somewhere else. I wish my eyes could take photos. Oh, that's sweet. Stay cool. I love that. Very cute little border strips. And then the back is another bold, bright statement with just crisp linear lines. And so another fun, bright one. This is also Dear Lizzie here and now. It is called High Five. Lots of leaves and some little flowers. I think these are flowers. No, I guess they're leaves too, but they have a red center. So that gives it just a little pop of color. Very jungle-esque, is that, if that's a word, jungle-esque. And then back to the 70s motifs. That's quite the mix we have going on here. So it's just that fun geometric like stars from the 70s that are inside the awkward squares. I don't know how you explain that, but super cute. I guess I need to figure out if I have any photos of me from the 70s. My mom never took photos of me. My stepmom did, but she didn't come into my life until I was six. So, um, yeah, this is Dear Lizzie here now. And wow, <laughs> I, I, this is like, I don't know. This is so bold and crazy. I don't know how I'd use this unless I backed photos with it just for the colors. But the back is just a soft blue, also with a star in type inside of a odd circle or square, whatever you want to call that. But this one, wows or woodles, I don't know about that one. <laughs> and then we kind of switch gears here. This is interesting. This is. Simple Stories Kate and Ash, and it's just got a little fun blue Jeep with some pink hearts. And then the back is some of those bright colors, and it looks like almost a Picasso style of flower. If you are like a Matisse painting of a flower, one of the two. Interesting, I kind of like this side. I don't know. I, I like this side better for the colors, but this would be fun for something like, this is very much my oldest daughter, True, so I don't know how I'll use that one. This is Dear Lizzie here and now, and it is called Carefree, and this would be so good with little baby Ella. It's just pink with little cherries all over it. Super cute. And then the back is just a navy with a white stripe. Hope it doesn't make you dizzy, but that is the side I like the best. And then we move on to the ephemera. This is Hips, 
Hip Kit Club exclusive Bring on the Sunshine. And it does not, I don't think it says how many pieces are in there, but it's made by Kimberly and it's got all of these summer palm trees and birds and bright colors, surfboards, leaves, titles. There's even a bikini and some hats, cherries. Super cute. Super cute. And you can see how colorful it is there. Look at the little watermelon. That's, a, that's adorable. And they've been doing these stamps lately, so I guess Hip Kit got into the stamp game um, because this is by Bring on the Sunshine. It's kind of hard to tell the front, so I'm going to flip it over. But, hello summer. And then that 70s vibe again with the sunshine. That font is very 70s. And then today in a camera, what's this other one say? Picture Perfect. I like that Picture Perfect. I like little little words like that. And we've got some enamel dots, Dive into Summer by Echo Park. I love that they've been including enamel dots again because I basically ran out almost. So that's a nice addition. This is Thickers that is uh, Hay by American Crafts. I don't know what collection they go with but they're a nice neutral tan. Um, and they have got little white polka dots. So that would go on almost any layout, I feel, since it's so neutral. And then this one's super cute. This is Simple Stories, Kate and Ash, Foam Thickers. And I love these. Again, with that 70s vibe. It looks like this one's torn. Uh, that's a shame. There's some more of that 70s fab. Ew. <laughs> I love that. Go girl. Ugh. Oh look, play, pause, stop. So it's like my camera knows when it's time to go from the main kit to the cardstock kit. I don't know why. But um, I'm ordering a new battery as soon as I finish this video. But this is the cardstock add-on kit for July and look at how delicious and yummy this paper is. Is this not swoon worthy. I love this. It matches my nails. <laughs> These nails are called chrome. They are so cool. I'm actually, I should have gotten them fixed, but I left that color so much I couldn't let it go. <laughs> so, wow. I love this. This is just a bright pink sparkly yummy color. And then we've got, they always give you two sheets. This is a textured basil and it is called I never can read this what is it called Arroyo interesting okay Arroyo so it is a really deep coral really bright coral so love that let's see if we can get this down so you can see it better I don't want you to miss out on that sparkle and then this one is also basil and it is called mango again a very lovely bright orange it's more on the tropical mango side of orange these are all textured this one is basil powder blue i know we've gotten this color before but it just goes perfect with this little bright set of colors that are in the main kit and then this is another bright yellow called pollen oh we got that in the june kit as well so i guess they had more but as much as i love yellow i don't care give me give me all the yellow you got and this is just a, a very untextured flat craft and it's a little bit heathered it's not it's not a solid cream so it is a craft for sure and we're having this cream just I mean this craft just isn't as pretty I'm gonna put it down here and then we're going for the lime again they did lime last time but this one is called limeade so again with these bright vibrant colors 
and then there are two pieces of white cardstock that they always have. So, wow, I just, I love this kit. Um, there's a couple other papers that I'm not <laughs> crazy about, but that's always me. I always, I, you know, if I only went for the papers and kits, I would never be happy, but as far as the embellishments and the way they tie all the colors in, I really like the job that Hip Kit does. And I don't have to do any real additional shopping because before I was just shopping, shopping, shopping. And now this keeps me kind of on a budget. And that's always good, especially um, when you get laid off of your regular job. And you start trying to build a business online, so every dollar counts. Um, I hope y'all are safe and healthy and happy. If you want to check out my health coaching online, I'm at www.ihbt.net. If you have any questions for me related to scrapbooking or health, just let me know. I'd love to hear from you, and I will talk to you later. Ta-ta for now. Bye.